Hello and good morning my dear friends and colleagues. In this video I will do a, a drawing, an ink drawing, maybe later coloring with watercolor, but in this video I use a reference photo, so we uh, are drawing a picture from real life. And here this is our reference photo, it's from a smaller village in Poland where I spent the summer for drawing there. And I would recommend to edit this photo. So the first thing is maybe you convert it to black and white. And the most of the tablets or apps have this black and white filter. So while drawing you can stay focused on the overall shapes. As well you better see the, the value, the darkness and the highlights as well as the contrast and some details here in the tree and this is makes it easier when you start with your ink drawing and of course when it comes to the coloring you have a you can duplicate this photo and uh, then this one version uh, in color okay now let's start with this 300 gram watercolor paper this one is from arch or arches and we start with some guiding lines, I call them, so we don't make, we don't do a, a pencil sketch, a, not a detailed one. And here is one more tip when you are not used to draw from reference photos. Take the, the size of the paper, um, like um, the size of your reference, so in this case it's the tablet, or you can print it on A4 and then um, when you put them side by side you can easily check the high of the first floor in this case and do some some marks some lines and like I said this is very helpful to get the right relation um, between the trees, the windows, the height and the length of the house. It's also a good training for your eyes and later on I think after practicing this uh, one or two years you can do it of course without um, this, uh, these tricks. Okay, after we have done this grid uh, we can start with uh, with our ink and in this case we use this soluble ink this is very handy because you can fill it in a smaller very easily in a smaller mark and I always use different uh, steel nibs uh, <coughs> in one picture because some nibs are more flexible some are more stronger and so you can change while you're drawing. Um, this is a very flexible one, so maybe this for my splatters. Okay, let's start with the first line. And of course now with this first line it's, it's, uh, it's easy to do so that they are not angled in the wrong way. They are nice and straight. And for this uh, first part I will um, speed it up a little bit. Okay, one word about doing straight lines. This is a practice you can do wherever you are uh, sitting while watching TV or something else and then just practice parallel lines so that uh, your hand gets a little bit practice and even when you're drawing architecture this of course might be helpful to draw the lines in a way you want to draw them. So in the upper left corner I show you the reference photo and in 
this part I'm only concentrating at the the overall shape and here we have the this baseline where the ink is still wet but but I want to do a first try when I use a brush with water in it so that I can see how these ink reacts on this special paper and I need in this part I need a very dark black so this is easier when the ink is still wet and now on the left side of the house we have uh, the entrance with a small roof on it and there is a small crab bucket and then there is something like a, a gutter for the, the rain uh, the rainwater and now we need some action and there's these splatters I really like them because there is dynamic there is something like uh, their own their own life their own living and the best way to do so is to use a very flexible nib and that's all so there's nothing uh, special and now the same procedure for the house behind our first house try to to uh, draw the the right angle of the roofs and here is a balcony and then another third roof uh, in the background chimney and the first tree and this is a texture for for the roof so that uh, there is a separation from the roof in the background and the house in the in the middle ground and uh, in between I've done some shadings just with water and this soluble ink and there we have the windows and as well I immediately use that uh, that ink to make them uh, darker so that I'm while drawing it I can decide if we need uh, more black parts or so that we have a well balanced drawing in the end before we start uh, with the coloring
Okay, so now let's start with the water color, the coloring. We have to, first we have to erase these pencil lines because when the watercolor is on these pencil lines, they will never disappear or be able to to erase it, even when the watercolor is so. When you have a rough sketching, yeah, a wilder one, then maybe it's okay when they stay here, these pencil lines, but the pencil lines are as thick as these fine uh, ink drawing lines, and so they, I should erase them. Okay. So for a starting point, let's do here we have some here we have some oh let's do some CPS Jena some brown tone. We'll start with the second house. Some yellow. Yeah, I think that's okay. Let's see how it turns out. And of course now we get a dirty color, but that's absolutely okay. This is what we are looking for in this case. Very colorful. Okay, uh, let's wait when it's dry. Then let's see how it works with the red roof. So, some cadmium red. So here, I don't want that the colors mix up because they are totally different buildings. Okay. And then we have the very bright house in the front, nearly white, but only nearly white. So let's start here. Yeah. Here I don't want to touch the black ink. Okay, here we have shadow. That's okay from this side. And of course, some of you will mention that it was a wonderful or a nice uh, a black and white drawing. But so maybe you are right. But in this case, we want I want to try out this color with this water soluble soluble ink. So and then we have this. A little bit orange or skin tone uh, house here. Funny thing, when it's mixed in these gray areas, when it's one time mixed with water, it's not that soluble again, or it seems that it is not so soluble. 
uh, because there is less pigment of course so and then we have here this goes in the foreground okay now i have to do something because it wasn't dry enough that's oh, okay and so i will wait with the another with the other roofs so a big jump uh, till the end because i want the focus on the houses in the middle and uh, i'm now just uh, adding some uh, black uh, waterproof ink with this uh, brush pen um, to add some more contrast because of course w w when you uh, work over the soluble ink it gets gray and you losing the deep blacks and so for this i use uh, black ink uh, waterproof black ink to get the contrast back and that's already now the the last part of this drawing and in a minute or in some seconds we will see the final result one last very important step we want these red parts of the roof to jump out of the picture so we have a, a, a contrapoint and a more dynamic in just these small parts of the drawing i think that that makes it makes it quite nice and makes it ready so and here we have our final picture okay <coughs> let's do some <coughs> nice the final not count on touch i hope this video was okay for you and so that we can meet us together in my next video. Bye for now.